Hey, uh, what's up grinders? I am Azard and today in this Gems of War video we are going to take another look at the monthly mythic, the Witch Dragon. Now there is going to be some repeated jargon, so if you feel you can use the timestamps I've added to the video timeline to move forward to the battles or in the second team and whatnot. Also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, if you like this video, give a gentle slap on the like button. Right. Alright, so the Void Dragon, Demon Dragon from Midnight, Drop Rolls Mage, so slapping those uh, medals on it will increase the spell damage a little bit. Uh, this troop deals magic plus 2 damage to all enemies, boost by blue and purple gems, and then creates 9 to 13 purple gems. Pretty, uh, loops pretty nicely and gets quite a nice chunk of extra damage from those blue and purple gems on the board. It's some around 15, 20, 25 depending on the amount of those gems on the board. Uh, tough scales reduces damage from skulls by 30%, spell armor reduces damage from spells by 25%, and the unique third trait void spirit gains 2 magic when matching purple gems, and that adds up pretty quickly, in fact. So, the first team is a all blue team, and this is a, the so-called double empowered team. In the first slot we are using Eldritch Minion from Karakot, who is also a demon. Uh, this troop converts all brown gems to purple, and if an enemy is cursed, he gains half of his mana back. Uh, first rate cursed dots inflicts curse when dealing skull damage, so that uh, will help with the uh, mana chain after casting. And uh, a cursed all enemies lose two random skill points, and of course that empowered trait starts battles with full mana. So right off the bat, we can try to convert brown gems to purple and feed our void dragon over here. In the last slot, we are using the Bane of Mercy, also a demon from, from Sind of Mirage. Source empowered, and uh, uh, this troop gives magic plus one attack to the first ally, and then converts yellow gems to purple and boosts the effect. Also, this troop inflicts curse on all enemies. So, in order uh, to get those half mana back, we have not one, not two, but actually three ways to curse the enemies. Uh, we are using Wand of Stars, which creates 6 elemental stars and blesses all allies, or creates 7 umbral stars and curse all enemies. So 3 ways to curse the enemies to help with that uh, mana gain back after we cast Eldritch Minion. Th that is why we use this troop up top, and of course that first trait over here is one thing. Well, even if, I, if I've been talking about this half, uh, gaining that half of the mana back, that isn't that big of a deal when we are using Wand of Stars. We are just casting our empowers to get our Void Dragon uh, up, and if we fail, or if the uh, troop fails to loop, we can just cast our Wand of Stars and hopefully good things happen. And for this build, I am using Sorcerer class. First of all, it makes our uh, hero a demon, and <coughs> excuse me, and it has also that uh, magic link that gains purple mana from purple gem matches. And uh, the uh, talents in the talent tree, uh, Dark Hunger steals one life from first enemy when matching purple gems, uh, Disease is there, Dusk Aura creates a dark storm at the start of the battle, this is one of the main reasons why I like this class pretty much. Stealthy helps, Tree of Knowledge gains enchant when matching green gems and the last uh, talent over there, Rising Shadows, 7% chance to assassinate the last enemy when another enemy dies. And this can actually happen because Bane of Mercy gives quite a bunch of attacks, so when you do some of those skull pokes, uh, the last enemy can actually be gone because of rising shadows. And one more thing, let's go and check those bonuses what we get if we are using blue team with uh, demons. Here are my global stats, and there is first, uh, Master of Water, 4 unique blue troops, in my case give plus 10 one armor to everybody, then we have 2 unique cargo troops that give some life, and there is uh, this mm, starry slime ball bonuses, I think. Uh, two unique Karaga troops gives six magic and a little bit more life. Then we have four unique demon troops. We get plus eight magic of and uh, plus 15 attack as well. And these are my equipped medals. I'm running uh, double Nisha and an Ano medal. So quite a nice bunch of magic to the already pretty nice damage over there. Let's try this team. So we want to check from uh, for uh, 
uh, brown and yellow gems and there's actually our first five match with bane of mercy let's do that and our drop dragon is going uh, 14 purple gems and we get the boost ratio of 26 more to the already pretty high 64 damage to all enemies that's pretty nice i think if my math is right we are dealing 90 damage to all, all enemies already maybe take that to get wound up even more purples and let's start the spamming process uh, pretty nice 19 to shoot loop yes and one more there that's a match well that went nicely let's take another take <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry about that okay now this board doesn't look very good but let's take that if that changes anything there is our extra turn with bane of mercy let's do that not much of brown gems but there is another extra turn with eldritch minion and now because the enemies are cursed all our eldritch minion will get half his mana back after a casting we have 19 purple gems and boost of 33 damage points and let's start the spamming process let's see if we can keep the loop going it worked pretty fine until this but I think we are going to do just fine there last enemy is gone now um let's do one more and even though this is a full blue team and it might seem that it, this would be a great team for guild wars for example now I wouldn't recommend doing that the reason for that is that all of these troops we are using are vulnerable to freeze for example if the enemy uses the elementalist class that seems to be pretty popular uh, class in the defense teams uh, then if your dragon gets inflicted with the freeze that's pretty much game over most of times of course we are using the wand of stars to cleanse that freeze but you know what happens if you give too many chances for the enemy you're going to get sculled down let's try if we can loop oh, we failed that is why we are using wand of stars over here do we want to let's see let's see 715 i think we are going to cast the blesh option because that just happens to loop a little bit better usually yep there and let's try to loop again with our dragon works pretty nicely let's take that and finish this fight there that's the blue team double imp empowered blue team and let's try another team that happens to be all brown team now we are using wand of stars up top over here with elementalist um elemental force stuns freeze and burst and song goes to random enemy and we have have immunity to freeze uh we are creating a storm aura however we aren't going to take benefit of that we have rock solid lightning star and fortitude that all help pretty much and we are using our dragon here in the second slot and then we are using Mitzli over here in the third slot the reason for this troop is because first of all it is brown and that seems to be the thing over here and it has the song of darkness trait that summons a dark storm at the start of the battle so even if we are using this storm aura talent over here this dark storm storm will overwrite that also has the uh, dark death second trait that summons a dark storm when an enemy dies so basically if they have summons or something like um, a spell reduction or something like that uh, this troop is going to resummon the dark storm when it's about to wear off and in the last loss we are using soothsayer who starts empowered and gains bonus brown mana from brown gems matches and uh, this is pretty good troop to get wand of stars going you choose a purple gem and destroy each row and column <coughs> excuse me and um, if you pick the pur purple gem carefully, that the row and column don't have many skulls, you, just a single suit share cast usually gets your wand of stars going. And uh, then we can just generate mana to our dragon, and hopefully the, the dark storm is there to help with the looping. Now let's check one thing. Mm. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Yeah, one other thing about using this dragon against or in Guild Wars is that 
as the enemy teams usually use that elementalist and they usually have the storm or triggered it doesn't matter if we have a way to con uh, conjure the dark storm at the start of the battle because their uh, dust storm is going to overwrite our storm let's pick this purple gem over here and we are going to get our wand filled up there and now we are going to cast the first option not many purples or yellows so i think this first option is better choice over here Right, we got some extra turns on, we got our dragon up 14, this should work, yep, let's try again, yep, let's take that, and we need one more cast over there and this one, yeah, worked pretty nicely. And um, by the way, if you want to check some other troops that has this Song of Darkness trait, you just go in your troop collection and write Song of darkness and there you see all the troops that has this uh, dark storm at the start of the battle trade now if you want to see all the brand troops that has this we have ex ex exactly four troops consort of darkness i tried this it's okay uh, with my global stats i get about 50 50 chance to actually kill the enemy mm, there's some life stealing going on when matching purple gems pretty nice super troop in this case but I kinda like this mesley over here, you can drain some mana from enemy and if there is a storm, like usually is that dark, dark storm, they dead mark. And then resummon the dark storm as well. Right, let's try fight against King High Blood Pressure, excuse me, King Blood Hammer. Right, summons a doomstorm when an enemy dies. Hmm. I think we are going to do just fine. Let's check for extra turns. Nope, 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 nope. Do we have? There is one. Let's do that. And our one is up and ready to rock. You know what I mean, babe. Mm. Hmm. This is a tricky board. Um. I think I'm going to actually uh, do this. All right. Fourteen. Yep. And we're rocking. Okay, now we failed pretty miserably. Do we... Uh, we take that. <laughs> and our dragon is back up. Okay, and one more cast. And this is a match. There. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of troll clearing today. <coughs> it seems. Um, Fallen world is... I stroll... I scubbling. Do... Nope. Doesn't summon any storm. Right. That's a... Pretty bummer usually if you, um, well, work to get that dark storm and then the enemy just overrides that. I would avoid kingdoms like maybe Whiteholm and um, Brightlands for example and Wild Plains as well. They have many troops that summon other storms that we want. Um, let's do this. We got our wand up. Let's have to generate some mana. Okay, we failed to get our dragon up. That's fine. I think we are... Um, should we maybe cast a second option over here? Let's try. Okay. We got an extra turn. That's nice. And pretty nice cascades as well. 12. Only 12. Well, well let's try. Okay, we looped. That's nice. Now we failed again. You see, this is a little bit annoying with this dragon. It usually loops pretty well, but sometimes it fails that extra turn. That's a little bit annoying. But uh, Elementalist helps. And this is a match. Right. Okay, let's see what we get from the chest. Uh, token of Anum, that's pretty nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, hey, that's about it. Um, the usual stuff. Comment, like, subscribe. Has is out. Peace!